What if people never started telling you that Aaron Yeager's change from crybaby to genocidal maniac made him the best main character? Would you still believe Aaron Yeager is the best main character in Shonen? Attack on Titan has always been popular, but within the last two seasons, people have found themselves more connected to the characters that they've seen introduced in season one and two. This can be attributed to things like moving away from cliche shonen tropes into more socioeconomic and philosophical beliefs. Stuff like that always adds an extra layer to a character that you've already been introduced to. So if you want to debunk or support the theory that Eren's transformation makes him the best main character in shonen or anime if you believe that you have to look at the author's intent plus the developmental stages with the character which are season one and season two if you ask me. So let's start off with the author's intent. Asayama's intent was never to create a typical battle shonen. It was to create a psychological mindfuck pretty much he always knew that by the end of the series he would have his audience either crying because of their attachments to the character or overall questioning if their moralities were right because of the similarities they saw between themselves and the scouts Aaron, Mikasa, Armin, people like that. So by weaving these characters into these complex situations, which seem simple, just fight the Titans, just kill the Titans, it reflects our own morality in certain instances. So with his intent in mind, you have to understand that Aaron's quote unquote transformation isn't as simple or as straightforward as it seems, which brings me to my next point. Aaron hasn't changed at all. People who are insistent that Aaron has changed in some way from season one to season four are just furthering the fact that they didn't really pay attention to who Aaron was and what he was saying from season one all the way to season three pretty much. The same reason why Aaron used to get in fights in his village defending people like his mother, Armin, Mikasa is the same reason why he went over to Marley to do the same exact thing, defend people that he loved, Armin, Mikasa, Jean, Connie. The, from the very first inciting incident where the Smiling Titan kills Aaron's mother, Aaron creates a resolution that is fully enveloped in selfish behavior, uh, anger, and revenge. Those emotions don't subside. They only become stronger and when he finds out he can transform into a Titan, he pretty much indulges himself and tells himself that he is finally free and he will destroy every single Titan. And every single thing in the world so if i could leave you on one note it'd be that two things changed over the attack on titan series Aaron's situations and your understanding of them he had always been this person from the very beginning